Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, if you're wondering why I'm here, I was just doing dailies, so. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to do a story quest. Troublesome work. So that is what I want to do. So let's see where that is at. If you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Okay, so it has to do with her story, I'm guessing. Okay. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? Others work hard too. I do feel sorry for Jean always working so hard. Oh. Um, so, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to see oh, you. Oh, a smooth talker. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> so, Miss Librarian, got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. Oh. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? Sure. I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it is now overdue. Oh, are we gonna have to go find the person who has it? Come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue. <sighs> I really wish people would just return their books on time true true whoa is paimon imagining things or does the air in here suddenly feel a lot more electrified it's giving me goosebumps <sighs> such a pain i'm going out to bring those unreturned books back if you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the tavat travel guide sooner you'd better come with me uh lisa seems really scary right now Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer her. Oh, uh, yes, yes. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to... The Souvenir Shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So, let's meet there shortly. Okay. Okay, let's get started with this act. Okay. Okay, so it's just down here. Cutie, you're here. Let's begin, shall we? Mm-hmm. Regarding the book you borrowed. Hello, Marjorie. Any exciting new items in stock? Why so surprised? Today is such a special day. It's only natural that I'd want a souvenir to remember it by. Today's just an ordinary day. What about the overdue library book? So, this is a date now? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna ask this one. Oh, is that how you see it? I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. At your age, these kinds of fleeting fantasies are normal. <laughs> well, if it's a souvenir you're after, you're in the right place. I'm sure you'll find something that strikes your fancy, Lisa. Or you could let your new friend pick something out for you. Make it more of an occasion. Yes, yes, let us pick. All right, take then. a look around. There's sure to be something she'll love. Oh, no. I, want, I think I want to choose this one. This is a historical relic retrieved from some ruins by one of the Adventurers Guild. Um. I'm sure there's a bit of wear and tear, but this thing in the painting must be well over a thousand years old. Though it does my goodness. Oops, sorry about that. This is one of the three lost scrolls that make up the northern border wind investigation. What is it doing here? Sorry about that, I didn't mean to skip it. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. My my. You clearly know a treasure when you see it. This is a work of unparalleled significance for the research of ancient people's understanding of the elements. I will gladly accept it. Oh, I'm so glad she likes it. Goodness, is that the time? <sighs> Marjorie, one last thing. About the legend of Vanessa. Oh, so you're a fan of the gallant lady Vanessa too? Why didn't you say so? I have all sorts of items I could recommend. For example, this lion's tooth pendant with Vanessa's name carved into it. It was once a medal awarded to a knight by the great lady herself. Hmm. The library book you borrowed. Oh my goodness. I do apologize. I got so excited when you mentioned Vanessa. I didn't know that book was overdue, even though I take it with me everywhere. I can't believe I didn't put two and two together as soon as I saw you here. <laughs> here you go. Well, since you look up to Lady Vanessa so very much, please be more punctual next time. Yes, Lisa. I will be, Lisa. <laughs> Let's go and find the next overdue book. Okay. Off to the next book. Today's recommendation. Welcome, Welcome to, to Good, good Hunter. Oh. Table for two? Three! <laughs> oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please sit wherever you like and call me over once you're ready to order. So we're gonna eat first and bring up the book situation later? Why, of course. The stress of work really takes the pleasure out of eating, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah. Work is that bad, huh? <laughs> Oh my god, why am I the one? Oh no. Um. What does Lisa like to eat? Yeah. She's been here a few times with Master Jean for afternoon tea before. I think she normally orders something vegetarian. Okay. A lady tends to eat cautiously on account of her physique, after all. On that note, I should probably be watching my own diet a little more. Girl. <sighs> Why don't you order us something, cutie? I'm ever so curious to know what your tastes are. <laughs> oh my god, the veggie soup. I imagine that making a good vegetable soup takes good quality ingredients, cooked in the right order, at the right heat, for the right length of time. At least, those are the principles that apply when one is making potions. But from what I've heard, Soup making was a popular pastime among the witches of the past. Mm hmm. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Uh. Yes. Mm, finished ordering. Sit here. Let's dine together. I'm. Um, there you go. Okay. A fine choice. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yes. Okay. A truly enchanting dish. Certainly a good fit for a witch. I am simply brimming with elemental energy after that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paimon's so full. 
Dude, I wish they had Paimon sitting here. That would have been so cute. Time is getting on. I suppose I should carry on with this ghastly thing called work. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little chat with Sarah about her library book. It must be like a cookbook she probably has. Would you like to order something else? No, thank you. We're quite satisfied. But I'm afraid I must ask you about the boar princess. The boar brisket? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think we took that off the menu. Bro, how did you hear that? Hmm. She means the book you borrowed. Oh, of course. I came straight to the restaurant after I borrowed it and completely forgotten that I even had it. I'm so sorry, Lisa. I will bring it to the library myself as soon as I finish work. Hmm. Okay, then. But make sure you don't forget this time. Right. On to our next stop, then, cutie. Okay. This is our final call for the day. Welcome. Uh, c couples are our specialty. Let me know what you'd like and I'll wrap them up nicely for you. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, yes. Now, which book was it that has the line, A date without flowers is a date without romance? Uh, would you by any chance care for some flowers? Oh, no, hold on. Too much book never even heard of the line before i'm just gonna say this one. <gasps> why it just so happens that i would my kindest cutie mm. some flowers <laughs> for miss lisa what would you like um okay i'm gonna go with dandelions dandelions are one of our classics and a personal favorite of miss flora the shop i know what you're thinking most flower shops don't sell dandelions they are a nuisance to care for. Perhaps Miss Flora likes the sense of floating away to a faraway land that the dandelion evokes. Right. Come to think of it, Miss Flora herself gives people the same impression. Are you sure? Can't change again once you've made your mind up. Uh, yeah. Dandelions? They actually sell dandelions? They have a refreshing scent, similar to the one Jean wears. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Time to she get likes back to that business. One. Donna, do you know why we're here? Back to business? My business is selling flowers. <sighs> Once again, we see a total lack of respect for literature. The Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies. Ring a bell? Mm. Oh. Uh. Yes. Well, what happened was... Uh, was... He got ruined. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Uh, what happened? I... I lost the book. Oh. <sighs> A while back, I realized it was almost due, and I was getting ready to bring it back to the library. But I couldn't find it anywhere. I looked for days, but nothing. It's like somebody stole it. It should have been there, on my bedside table, right where I left it. Uh-oh. That Lisa does some crazy things when she gets mad. I, I doubt it. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I love Lisa. She's awesome. Well, if it really was stolen, Donna's done the thing wrong. The blame lies with the book thief. And their punishment will be three. No, ten times worse than stealing my book. Like Paimon said, totally crazy! How do we find the lost book, though? Oh, don't worry about that. As long as I remain librarian, not a single book will go missing for good. Hmm. I put a unique elemental marker on each book. Our thief will have left a nice set of clues for us to follow. When did Lisa start taking her job so seriously? Paimon always thought she was a total slacker. Uh, <laughs> hey, sweetie. I've heard your elemental sensitivity is very strong. Why not see what you can do? Elemental sensitivity? Oh, Paimon's got it. 
Use your elemental sight to look for clues. Okay. Oh, brother? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Looking at the elemental traces, it does seem likely that the book was stolen. So Donna didn't do anything wrong after all. It's not from the restricted section, so it's hardly a book worth stealing. Whoever wanted this book so badly had a strange fixation indeed. Hmm. So, what do we do now? Uh, keep looking for it. The elemental traces are very faint, but I can tell that the thief took it beyond the city walls. You must see it too, right cutie? Mm -hmm. Let's follow the trail and have a look where our thief was headed, shall we? Okay. Dude, don't tell me it was Timmy, bro. Right here. The elemental traces are strong here, but it seems our thief did not stay for long. Hmm. The trail keeps going. Let's keep looking. Okay, so it seems like it's up this way. Can I not get stuck? Thank you. We might be up here, hold on. Oh my god, why? Okay, uh... <laughs> Bro, of course, it's over here. I must leave no stone unturned. This thing. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> further than I thought. Quite the intrepid explorer, our little thief. Maybe we frighten the turtle back inside his shell. Oh, 
Nice. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. Where the heck? Over here. It must be nearby. Using elemental sight, you can even detect magic. Follow the flow of magic to find the book. Okay. Probably following this path. Ah, oh my god. The thief lives inside ruins? The Mondstadt people do have some strange quirks. Please do not jump to such a preposterous conclusion about the living habits of Mondstadt's residents. <laughs> This seems far more likely to be the work of some none too friendly troublemakers. Hmm. It's not unlike them, in the sense that they are known for darting around amongst underground ruins. But adventurers do not typically take others' belongings. Well, not from the living, anyway. This is more likely to be the Abyss Order's doing. They do seem to have a way of slipping in and out of places like ghosts, after all. Oh, okay. Also, there's an elemental seal at the entrance. It looks like the result of an Abyss Mage's magic. A seal? How are we gonna break it? Is this gonna turn into another huge ordeal? <laughs> Not to worry. If you think a little magic can keep me out, think again. Why is that? Dang. Okay. Come on. Whoa. So this is what Lisa's like when she's hard at work. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's get started. I like my team. <laughs> It's so much bigger in here than Paimon thought! Uh, do we really have to go all the way inside? If you borrow a book, you have to return it. There will be no exceptions. Oh, there's a chest in here. Am I supposed to go down here? <gasps> no! Oh, wait, no, no, no. Chess. Okay. Oh, okay, hold on one second. <laughs> Nothing up here. Oh, 
Oh crap, I was not paying attention to things. Okay, there we go. I must leave no stone unturned. Enjoy this too much. Okay, Dad. Give me out, give me out, give me out. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Get out of there, bitch. Put it back and out. There we go. Okay. Cutting. Mm. I hate this game, dude. I really Someone hate it. <laughs> Quit. Hell out of my way. I must leave no stone unturned. I need you to move out of my way. And I'm fucking stuck in a wall. Get. Yes, come on. Oh, 
let's go. How did you find this place? It's so well hidden. Uh, I wouldn't say so. It was literally glowing. I have no interest in finding out where you little rascals hide yourselves away, but I do want my book back. Tell me, how is it that you have the time to conceal your stronghold and apply a magic seal, but not to sign out a library book in the proper manner? You have no respect whatsoever for other people's work. You... you just want... the book? I was unaware that anyone in Mondstadt was concerned with unearthing the secret hidden inside this book. <laughs> who... who are you? The librarian. Although I believe that should be quite clear already. Yeah. Return the book. This is an ultimatum. <laughs> Since you insist on concealing your identity, I have all the less reason to give you that book. After all, it contains... Oh, what the heck? The secret. How? Huh? Wh wh what are you doing? Such concentrated elemental power! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's Lisa's so strong. <laughs> Naughty boys who don't do what they're told need a little punishment to keep them in line. Uh, you don't let them finish speaking a little punishment? <laughs> <sighs> this is why I call it troublesome work. Mm. We'll just need to find the book ourselves. It should be around here somewhere. Okay. So we're still on the search for the book. It's the Pale Princess and the Six Pygmies! Paimon remembers that name! Is this the one you were looking for? Oh, it was just in a chest, okay. That's the one. It's a good thing it isn't damaged. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Are you telling me you have even more crazy punishments up your sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> I would have probably have needed to dish out a little taste of one of my potions in that case. Hmm. Uh... <laughs> then again, as I said, it isn't from the restricted section, which is the only reason I would let the average citizen borrow it in the first place. Then my question is, who's allowed to go into the restricted section? Is it only, like, librarians, or what? And it doesn't appear to have any abnormal elemental properties, save for the markings I put on it. Yeah, it seems like just an average storybook. Hmm. Oh. As far as my duties as a librarian go, my troublesome work is finished. Oh. Since this book has piqued your interest, why don't I let you borrow it? <laughs> Please don't punish me if I return it late. <laughs> uh, what's the, um, due date? <sighs> There's no time limit for you. I will register you as custodian rather than borrower. Oh, okay. This is an exclusive privilege reserved for trusted citizens only. Sweet. Exclusive privilege? Why does Paimon feel this is just your sneaky way of offloading your troublesome work onto someone else? Excuse me? Are you in some way dissatisfied with my work? <laughs> no, man. I will take extra special care of this book. Good. You're amenable to reason, then. <sighs> I do wish I could keep you by my side as my personal assistant. My work here is done. I'm going back. Okay. Don't forget to register at the library when you have a spare moment. Okay. Okay, let's leave. the heck? Okay, wants me to go back here. Oh. Didn't 
not mean to do that. Oh, you've returned. The paperwork is done. You are now the custodian of this book. Sweet. Thank you, Miss Lisa. But Paimon thinks we're forgetting something. <gasps> oh, right. The guide. Look, over there on the shelf. Isn't that the Tavat travel guide? And look how many copies there are. <laughs> <laughs> the Tavat travel guide is a serial publication. It is not part of the library's formal collection. Oh. Hmm. Take one. Consider it your compensation for being Lisa's little helper today. Okay. With you by my side, my troublesome work was a little less dull than usual. Hmm. The Tavat travel guide was just bait to get us to do a day's work. <laughs> I hadn't anticipated that a few routine returns inquiries would take us out of the city, let alone down into some underground ruins. As compensation for dragging you into all this bother, take these souvenirs. Ooh, what is this? Wow! Lisa went and bought us some special souvenirs! In fact, they were intended for our next outing. But, never mind. We can discuss next time's activity when the time comes. I hope you are looking forward to it. Oh, I am. <sighs> hey, well that was really, really fun to do a quest with- What the hell? Anyway, <laughs> that was really fun to do a quest with Lisa. As, you know, I really love that character. <laughs> yeah that sh that was awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time Buh bye bye